Another beautiful morning here in Thailand. Time to head downstairs and grab some breakfast and a nice warm cup of coffee. This is an interesting breakfast item. Some sort of rice paste wrapped in leaves. And in this bowl, we have steaming hot shrimp and rice soup. Very tasty and nutritious. This is a very relaxing hotel. I finally feel like I'm on vacation. I can finally catch my breath and enjoy watching these little fish here in this pond. What kind of fruit are these growing on that tree? On my morning stroll around the neighborhood, I stumbled upon a tea stand. Here are my gracious hosts making me some fresh Thai tea for only about 75 cents. Good stuff. Okay, it's time to hitch a ride with a Uber driver as we head to downtown Chiang Mai. This appears to be a quirky little city. It's very busy, but very ramshackle, but not as ominous as Bangkok. Exciting here at McDonald's, wow. <laughs> this is actually a spinach pie. Surprisingly good. Spinach and corn pie. I like it. Heading back out onto the street, we meet this lady. She's selling offerings for the Buddha. You place these little flowery decorations on the Buddha statues, which are scattered around town. Wow, that's a beautiful looking resort. The streets here are really busy. I would say this is a typical looking street for Chiang Mai lined with little shops and you have to dodge the traffic as you walk down the street. Hello Siri, uh, where do I find the hotel? Hello Siri? <laughs> the city is an interesting mix of shops along the streets. You have vendors selling trinkets and then you have a Toyota dealership right next door. Sure, I'll buy one. Seems like a good impulse purchase. Ah, more trinkets. Some of the buildings and streets here have more of a resort, small town vibe to them. Check out this cute little car. I haven't seen anything like that in America.
Here's another exotic car that we can't get back home. And here's a random goose just hanging out in an empty dirt lot. Check this guy out. Shoe repair, right on the sidewalk. How convenient is this? As the day turned into night, we stumbled upon an indoor Western style shopping mall. This place is massive. Six floors of shopping, including a basement floor. And the parking garage is, uh, it's a zoo. This is the mall parking garage. This is one level of it. You can't smell it through the video, but there is no ventilation in here. And the exhaust fumes are incredible. Not that I'm in the mood for seven floors of shopping, but it does feel good to get out of the heat and humidity and be inside where it's air conditioned and clean. This looks like the food court. And this looks like it's going to be my dinner. Yum. Being inside this mall was actually kind of magical after being out on the hot and dirty streets all day. Everything here is so clean and new and air conditioned. It was very refreshing. This is an offbeat little store with tons of wacky merchandise. Pillows in the shape of large coins. One pound, 10 pounds for one pound. Inflatable aliens hanging from the ceiling. And some R-rated hats. This must be the electronics level. Tons of cell phones and accessories. An interesting variety of tripods for you vloggers out there. Ooh, a Daiso store. That giant robot is not ominous at all. Stepping outside of the mall, I discover there's a free outdoor concert. And just across the street from the mall is an outdoor night market in case you didn't get your fill of shopping already. Well, all in all, I'd say not bad for my first day here in Chiang Mai. And as the evening draws to an end, it's a good time to wrap up this vlog. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss a future episode.